Hey there and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to go over the best apps for your new iPad Pro 2021. So let's begin with the video now. So on the first spot we're gonna have Call of Duty. If you're missing playing Fortnite on your iPad since its removal from the Apple Store, then Call of Duty Mobile is well worth playing. This free to play mobile version includes multiplayer maps from Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Call of Duty Black Ops. Team up with friends in the 100 player battle royale deathmatch, take on your enemies in a sniper vs sniper battle and compete for top place in ranked mode. With dozens of characters, outfits and weapons to unlock, there is plenty to keep you entertained. And there are new seasons released regularly with events, modes and maps. You should also know that this game is going to be adaptable to play with your PlayStation 4 or Xbox remote. Next up we're gonna have Asphalt 9, the newest version of this thrilling racing game. Asphalt 9 Legends takes you over 80 tracks in real world locations and puts you behind the wheel of countless sports cars. Like most games of this caliber, Legends takes you a lot of storage so if your iPad is already pretty full you may want to clear some room. Next up we're gonna have a very simple one and that's gonna be Google Chrome. So you wanna browse fast in your iPhone, iPad and whatever with the Google Chrome browser you love on the desktop. Pick up where you left off on your other devices, you can search by voice and easily read web pages in any language. So I'll recommend you to get this one if you're used to that browser. Now we're gonna talk about Crackle, so move over Netflix and Hulu Plus. There is a great new movie app in town. Crackle delivers excellent entertainment in an interface that stands up to Hulu Plus and exceeds Netflix. Plus, it's a free download with no subscription costs. With free movies and TV shows, Crackle is a must-have app and one of the best free apps on the App Store. On the fifth spot, we're gonna have Evernote. Evernote works similar to the Notes app that comes with the iPad but includes a number of supercharged features. Evernote is cloud-based so you sign into your account to retrieve your notes. This means you can sign in with your PC, iPad or Android device, create notes and task lists, email them from your Evernote account and organize them by tags. This is such a good app in replace of the Notes app of the iPad. On the spot number 6 we're gonna have IMDB. So if the iPad is the ultimate couch potato device, IMDB is the ultimate couch potato app. With access to the internet movie database, you will never be left wondering why an actor's face looks familiar or what other movies were made by a certain director. You will quickly become an ace at 6 degrees of Kevin Beacon. If you download this app, this is going to give you all the information you're going to need from whatever movie, actor, TV show that you want including some good reviews and that way you can decide if you want to watch it or skip it. Now we're going to talk about Speed Test by Okla. So Speed Test allows you to test the overall speed of your internet connection measured in megabytes per second. While it may sound like something only a techno geek would want on their iPad, it is handy for everyone especially if you have an area of the house where you don't get a good Wi-Fi signal. Speed test will help you determine how bad your connection gets and help you test solutions. Now we're gonna go over Flyscreen. Flyscreen is an image manager and organizer with a twist. It's primarily about screenshots. It also uses on-device machine learning to provide useful features that Apple's own photos can match. The first is search by text. You can type in a term and any image that includes matching words will be shown. Equally useful, tap any image to access its edit view. You will see a detected text within a field that can be selected or copied in its entirety via the handy copy button. The app also provides fast access to images that are very similar to the current selection. Now on spot number 9 we're gonna see GIF Wrapped. So GIF Wrapped is designed for GIF obsessives. If you can get through an entire social media message without welding a looping animation to it, this is the app for you. Universal Search provides fast access to more GIFs than you could conceivably hope to use in several lifetimes, even if you try it very hard. It is also possible to import your own burst and live photos. Whatever you find can be saved to your local library. GIFs can then be shared from the app itself or in messages by using GIF Wrapped iMessage app. Now on spot number 10 we're gonna have BLC for mobile. So VLC for mobile is an iPad take on the popular open source media player. 
On iPad it has two main uses. The first one is offline playback. You can load up VLC with videos and broadly speaking, be secure in the knowledge it's actually going to be capable of playing them. During said playback, you can fiddle with the picture and audio and use gestures to skip through boring sections or backwards if you missed a bit. Now on spot number 11 we're gonna see Just Watch. Just Watch solves one of the biggest problems with the way we consume television and movies. With streaming devices and on-demand increasingly rendering traditional schedules redundant, the key is usually finding out where and how to watch something, not when. Just Watch asks you to confirm your location and the services that interest you. If you're still into the big screen, there is a tab for currently showing movies which makes it a cinch to access local showtimes. This way, you're gonna be in a good spot for knowing where to watch things, when to watch them, and how to do so. On spot number 12, we're gonna have Night Sky. Free iPad app Night Sky brings the planets and stars to your iPad. With gorgeous visuals and a rich feature set, the basic view can be dragged around or be oriented by holding your iPad in front of your face. Illustrated constellation overlays appear and melt, and an expandable search box makes it a cinch to rapidly find and store favorite objects. Next up, Oak Meditation and Breathing. This is an app that wants you to relax. It's split in sections for meditation, breathing, and sleeping. A stats area provides that means to track progress, with you gaining streaks and winning badges through regular use. Meditations can be guided or unguided, catering for all skill levels. And although you don't get the wealth of options available in some apps, you can adjust instruction gender, session duration, and background noise. The three breathing exercises cover relaxation, focus, and invigoration. And the sleep section offers guided breath exercises designed to help you unwind. On spot number 14, we're going to have a very, very nice app called Tasty. Tasty is a cookery app that wisely reasons modern day cookbooks need to move beyond being digital equivalents of paper based homes. This one achieves this by way of fast, filterable searches and judicious use of video so that you know how to do any recipes that you want to look up. On spot number 15, we're going to have DuckDuckGo. So DuckDuckGo privacy browser wants the internet to leave you alone. Specifically, it doesn't want you being tracked. It comes across like a stripped back alternative to Safari that's determined to have you leave no trace. Third party trackers won't follow you as you browse, meaning no relentless and suspiciously targeted adverse because you several days back to happen to check out a nice TV online. So this is a really good option if privacy is what you're looking for. Next up, we're going to have Peacock Lite. So Peacock Lite's existence means the lack of a built-in pet calculator doesn't bother us. For anyone who wants a traditional calculator, it's pretty much ideal, the big buttons beg to be tapped, and the interface can be tweaked to your liking by way of bolder and larger key text, alternate display digits, and styling animation. Now we're going to have Focus, so Focus Time Manager will help you stay focused on the task at hand. Its system is based on Pomodoro style work slash break sessions, the idea being that you focus on a single task during the former and have brief downtime during the latter. At the end of the fourth session, you have a longer break. So this is really good if you're trying to do any homework, any work, and you just need to have something that helps you keeping you focused on that activity. Now we're going to talk about SolarWatch. SolarWatch is a clock and weather app with a difference. Although it provides basic forecasts with temperatures and conditions for the coming 24 hours, it's primarily interested in what the light will do. The day is represented as a disk, orange areas denoting daylight and blue outlining when it's night. There is nuance with the app providing details of when civil first and last night will occur along with nautical and astronomical equivalents. So if you really like this type of things, this is something that you need to watch out for because this is a really good app. And now on the 19th spot, we're going to have one password. No matter what type of device you own, you're always going to need a way to keep track of the dozens of passwords you collect from apps and websites. One password makes it incredibly easy to store information across all of your devices, so you only have to remember the one you use to unlock the app. It also works with Touch ID, so you can keep your passwords ultra secure. 
And on spot number 20, we have Duolingo. So if you're looking to learn or practice a language on an iPad, Duolingo is indisputably the way to go. The app has expanded its pool of languages over the past few years and it now offers a couple dozen choices, ranging from Danish to Vietnamese. And you can still use Duolingo for free, but there is also a Duolingo Plus tier for $12.99 which removes ads and gives you the ability to download lessons for offline studying. But if that is not a problem with you, you can easily get away with the free app. Next up, it's Grammarly. So whether you're tapping out on a quick email or writing up a long report, Grammarly's real-time writing feedback will help you make sure your work is tip-top. The keyboard for iPhone and iPad works across all your apps. No copy and pasting is required. Plus, with the document editor and personal writing statistics, you can take your writing to the next level. Having this keyword is going to be very, very useful if you are the one to make reports all the time or maybe any analysis and even sending an important email. On the spot 22, we're going to have NASA. So there are many good NASA sponsored and NASA related apps for iPad, but none compares with this official NASA app compiled by NASA Amos Research Center. The app combines insightful articles and news stories dazzling images and videos and live TV feeds, making it a one-stop portal for most everything NASA. On the 23rd spot, we're going to have Kindle. The Kindle app provides iPad users with a powerful multi-platform reading app that gives them full access to their library and a highly customizable reading interface. Readers can tweak the app's text display, backgrounds, and even more, with Amazon's Whisper Sync technology ensuring that settings are saved across all of your devices. And on the spot number 24, we're going to have Flipboard, and even with the news app that includes with iPadOS, Flipboard remains a neat little news aggregation and curator program that curates material that you like to read, such as blogs, websites, your social media news feeds, and more. Flipboard aggregates all of this content into a sleek, magazine-like format that allows you to view material in one neat package, which is perfect for when you want to relax with your tablet. Beautiful design and the ability to view all your web content in one place make this best app a keeper. And last but not least, we're going to have Zoom. If the pandemic proved one thing is that the iPad is uniquely suited for hosting video calls, and the best iPad app for that is Zoom. The now ubiquitous video conferencing tool, the app is simple to use and meeting quality stacks up well against any rival app. Zoom supports backgrounds on the app so colleagues and co-workers are spared the side of your house. And if you got one of the new iPad Pro models like the one we're showing right here in this video, Zoom supports the center stage feature to keep you in the frame, even if you are moving around. Alright everyone, so that was it for the best 25 apps for your new iPad Pro 2021. If you got some valuable information out of it, please don't forget to give it a like and also leave a comment down below on what you think. Subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications every time we post a new video. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video.